G'day everyone, today I want to paint you a picture. You're a young shredder, no not an old guy like me, an actual young shredder. And you're at the bike park ready to hit up the big jumps today. Except you've got a problem, in fact multiple problems. You've got your dad with you, and your dad can't jump. And he still thinks it's cool to wear lycra in the bike park. But it gets worse, you've got mum with you, and she's got your little baby brother on the back. And that's before you even get to your sister, what an embarrassment. You want to throw a tantrum in the car park, um, but you figure you're getting a little bit too old for that. And it gets worse because dad says you're going to do a family ride on the family trails. Now how are you ever going to get good uh, and be like your heroes on dad's army um, if you never get to do the big jumps? Well I'm going to show you that you can do the grade 3 family trails, you can have fun and you can also improve your skills. So anyway I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I said we were going to start with uh, grade three, but actually we're going to even do one better. We're going to go grade two, Sunday Drive. Um, now, Sunday Drive doesn't exactly inspire you with uh, gnar and technical Rudy stuff, but I'm sure we can have some fun on this. So anyway, we'll start on this bit here. You can pedal along here as fast as you like, okay? So we'll just go along this bit. Okay, so when we come to about this point, um, you stop pedaling, and from here, you're not allowed to pedal at all, um, but suddenly it gets a little bit technical. You've got an up, a down, some rooty bits, and as you say, it starts to get, for a grade two, it's starting to get a little bit technical, and coming through here fast can be quite fun. So again, you're not pedaling, and the question is, how do you know when you've uh, done it right? Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of a rise here, and if you can get up to the top of this rise without pedaling and make it up onto this flat section, you will have succeeded on doing the challenge. So anyway, shall we start with that? Okay, remember you can pedal along this first bit here, but about from here you can stop. Okay, so it's just a very short piece of track, but it is actually very good for your skills. Uh, cornering, maintaining your flow, and keeping your momentum going. And I tend to do this uh, pretty much every time I come through here. And we did it! Simple as that. Too easy, was it? Oh, well anyway, come and give it a try first, and uh, let me know in the comments whether that one was too easy. Question is, did your sister make it? Um, anyway, well let's go and see if we can find another one. Okay, so if I didn't mention at the start of the video, we're actually at Woodhill Bike Park here in Auckland. And I, as I mentioned, we're doing a track called Sunday Drive, which is just a grade two. Now we're on to our second skills feature. Now this has two parts to it. The first part is going down the hill, do not touch your brakes, hold on all the way to the bottom. You can touch your brakes at the bottom, always a good idea. There is a corner at the bottom, it's not a berm corner, so it's a good skills corner to learn to how to go around on a flat corner. And then the idea is to see how far up the track you can go in the opposite direction. You can do it with all your mates and see who can go the furthest. So, and every time you come out here, you can see if you can go a little bit further. Um, it's a bit dry today, so I'm not sure how far we'll get today, um, but let's give it a go. All right, so from the top here, hang on to the bars, death grip them, no braking. All right, so it's not really that uh, skillful going down here. It's just a matter about having the confidence just to not touch the brakes and use all your speed. The skill part comes into as you approach the corner, you want to brake as you approach the corner, but not to brake in the corner. The other thing that I do is you I put my outside foot down and I put my weight through that pedal to try and get as much uh, grip around the corner as possible. And we'll take that. Okay, so that was uh, skill session number two. Um, that's my tree just there. Um, so let me know in the comments if you can get further than that. Um, I think you probably could, to be honest. Uh, it's very dry and loose today. I think if it's a bit wet and grippier, I think you could roll a little bit faster and further. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, so I ate my muesli bar and I realised what I really wanted was a pie. So I'm heading back to the car park on a track called No Vacancy. And this one has uh, three components to it in terms of uh, improving our skills. First one is effectively a pump track. So you get to about halfway along this flat section and once it's sort of a little bit downhill, you just pump like crazy until it does start going downhill. Then there's a few uh, doubles you can jump um, and if you uh, do these, you'll generate even more speed. Um, and the aim therefore is to get all the way back into the car park without pedaling. Uh, it's not that easy, um, but uh, definitely worth a try. You can do it every time on the way home. Um, you, the downside is you often meet riders going a lot, lot slower on the way down. Just think, could be your mum. Just abort it and uh, try it the next time. But anyway, we'll give it a try now. All right, we're away. Now normally I ride the whole trail, so I can't really remember where I start this, but I think it's from about here somewhere. Yep, that seems right. So just, it's all about maintaining good pumping. Could have been better, it's a bit loose and dry. Okay, I'm gonna have to work for it here, guys. I think we can do it though. All right, no pedaling. Little double here. Another one here. Another one here. Another one. Rolling a bit slow today. Got some big new tire on the front. Okay, we're on the downhill bit. I've been doing these sort of exercises uh, for many years now, uh, long before I had an e-bike. Um, I think they're useful Ooh, on tracks that you do um, quite frequently, as you can try and improve each time. You want to think about your entry into a corner, you don't want pumping. to break through the corner, and you want to try and get really good exit speed. Um, you can also, pumping is a really good way to generate speed as well. So anyway, you don't have to do this at Woodhill, you can do it any tracks you ride. It's just a way of um, make having a bit of fun and improving your skills on every ride. Can break a little bit if you need to. Much speed as you can along here. Can pump a bit. It's a bit flat across here, but I think we'll make it. Okay, a few little pumps. Can even hit this little jump up. It's not really a jump, but it gets you some speed. And there you go, all the way back to the car park. Okay, I think it's time for that pie now. Um, hope you enjoyed those uh, three sections, three challenges. Um, why don't you give them a try? Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of those. I did do a fourth one. I uh, wheelied for 500 metres continuously around a windy section of uh, Sunday Drive. Unfortunately, there was a problem with the camera and the footage didn't get recorded on that one, so you missed that one. But if you like the video, love it if you subscribe, thumbs up and all that sort of thing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.